Uh, Aditya Agarwal is here with us, expert on FNO. But I'm going to first ask Aditya about the Nifty itself. Aditya, just look at the chart. Tell us how it's set up. Well, if we see Nifty, then yes, set up for Nifty is quite bullish. For the last 10 days, Nifty was facing some resistance in the range of 8600, 8620 levels. And today, Nifty has broken that and it is sustaining above that. That's a positive thing. But on higher side, again, if we see then in this current month itself, we have seen uh, we are seeing heavy call lighting at 8700 strike, and today also it has added almost six and a half seven lakh shares. So it will be difficult for Nifty to break 8700, but be, but overall structure for Nifty is positive. So it's like like buy uh, buy and decline kind of market. Uh, for immediate basis, we are expecting that Nifty can test 8660, 8680 levels, and from those levels, some we can see some minor profit booking in the market. But if we see rollovers, uh, rollovers are positive in Nifty. We are seeing uh, uh, positive rollovers for next series. So we expect. I think that August will be a positive series for market and one can take long positions ahead. Right. Uh, you know, you just mentioned about 8700, but you know, on Friday we had seen the same activity at 8600 and everybody was believing that even 8600 would be difficult for markets to cross. So why should one believe that tomorrow 87 cannot come in? Well, it means I am not saying 87 cannot come in, but the way I mean, we are seeing riding an 8700 call option, like uh, total open interest is somewhere in the range of 60 to 63 lakhs. So that will act as a uh, as an immediate resistance on Nifty. But once Nifty breaks 87, then yes, we will see some sharp short coming rally. Like today, we are seeing if Nifty once breaks 8600, we are seeing some short coming which can take Nifty towards 8660, 8680 levels. And yes, 87 will be immediate resistance on those levels. We can see a minor bout of profit booking in the market. I am not saying market will. Correct from those levels significantly, but yes, we will see some resistance. Like 10 days Nifty was trading in the range of 8600, 86, 8500. But the same way, we will see some resistance in the range of 8500, 8700. And from those levels, some profit booking is advisable. Right. You know, if we look at uh, the last few series, especially since the month of uh, May, uh, you know, every last 10 days, we tend to see a very big rally coming in. Uh, a lot of call writing, which has happened, has probably, you know, forced to being covered into this uh, particular rally. You think this time is no different? A lot of call writers have got trapped and they will get trapped uh, as we go into the series? Well, yes, means if we see call writers side, 8,600 call writers have got trapped in the market. Uh, but see, in this series, we are already up by almost four, four and a half percent. So not much upside is uh, now means I'm expecting for the next three, four trading sessions. Uh, so probably Nifty will again now uh, to, after today's 85, 90 points rally. I, I think that next three days will be a range bound market, but little bit of positive biasness. Uh, so I'm not expecting that 8700 call option will get uh, call lighters will get trapped in this series. Right. Uh, Aditya, just stay on with us. I wanted to highlight some names that are buzzing right now. So if you look at Kane India, it's at the day's high. It's up about 6 odd percent. Five and a half to about 6 odd percent. Of course, we had the big Kane Vedanta deal coming in and uh, probably it's seeing a reaction uh, coming in now. We can even pull up a Vedanta Limited. So that's up about 3 odd percent. It's also at the day's high, just about a rupee away from that. But still, both these names, of course, did not uh, see a lot of activity in the morning. Volumes were very, very high, no doubt about it. But right now, they are seeing some uh, price action uh, as well. As well as some of the PSU banks. So a PNB is up 7%. Alabad is up 7 odd percent. PC Dwellers is doing very, very well. Aditya Birla Nuvo is up 5 Canada Bank declares numbers today that's up about five. So it's it's been a rally where, you know, you have seen continuous gains coming in for PSUs as well. Aditya, uh, as far as Kane India and Vedanta is concerned, uh, at, at, you know, these levels, how would you look at these names? They are more than 100% up from the Feb lows. Well, uh, both the stocks are looking promising. Means yes, these stocks have seen a significant rally. Means in four or five months, Kane India has rallied from 120 levels to 202 levels. But we have to, we have to see that stock has corrected significantly from 390 levels. It uh, test, tested 100 and 105 levels, and now we are seeing some retracement. So overall structure for Kane India is positive. We are expecting that in short term, stock may test 240, 250 levels. Uh, so I don't see any reason that why one should sell uh, Kane India at current levels. In fact, any correction in Kane India towards 180, 175, it should be used to initiate long positions. Uh, similarly, we see Vedanta also. Uh, its overall structure for Vedanta is quite positive. Stock has rallied from 60 levels to 174 levels. Uh, now, immediately, stock will see some resistance in the range of 175, 180. But if that is broken, then I think stock has a potential to test 210 to 230 levels also. Right. If somebody wants to take fresh position on the long side, uh, what should be the level that they should get into, say, for Vedanta? Well, uh, if someone wants to enter uh, at current levels, then they have to keep a little bit uh, big stop loss. Stop loss will be somewhere in the range of 155. A stock has immediate 
distance in the range of 185. Above 185, the stock uh, can test 230 also. Right. Uh, as far as uh, m and Finance is concerned, just wanted to highlight they declared numbers on Friday. It went down to the levels of 304. It opened today at about 303, 304, down about 5%. But right now, it's into green. It's at about 321. Uh, Aditya, it's a classical sort of a bottom formation. Uh, or you would wait for a couple of days more or price to settle over here before you believe that the worst of 300 is behind for m and Finance now? Well, I think that burst is already over for m and Finance. 300 was a very crucial support and stock has respected that, those, that, that support level in today's session. And from those levels, we have seen a good pullback. Uh, today's session, we are seeing some fresh long position getting built up in Mahindra and Mahindra Finance. So I think a stock can test again the test 345, 350 levels. Uh, but the stock will be a little bit volatile for next 3 4 trading session. We will see some uh, profit booking at higher levels. But overall, stock is looking positive from current levels. If it comes in the range of 315, 312, it's a very good stock to buy. Risk reward ratio is clearly in favor of buyer. With a stop loss of 298, one can make long position with a little bit positional target of 345, 350. Right. So, uh, would you be a buyer into m and right now? Uh, or you said that there is some volatility, so best buy into August series? Well, yes, some volatility will be there, but overall, I am a buyer in this counter. Means I would I advise to make short position in m and finance from current levels. Uh, but I would advise to buy in the range of 315, 312 with a stop loss of 298. Well, we were talking to Aditya. He is uh, still with us. Aditya, what's going on in PSU Bank? So, you know, something like a PNB is back to the levels of 128. Alabad Bank is up 6%. Uh, do you think any of these names are worth uh, giving a look right now also or majority of the gains are now behind? Well, if we see PSU banks, then most of the counters have seen a value of 40-50% from the lower levels. So now what we have seen in last 3-4 trading session was just a retracement of that overall bullish move. So structure for the PSU banks is still looking good and we are expecting that PSU banks may continue to rally from current levels. Uh, but yes, one has to be very stock specific for at, at, at from these levels. And Bank of Bodo, there's one counter in which one can initiate long positions. We see this counter, the stock has a very strong support in the range of 148-149. A stock retest, uh, tested those levels in Friday straight in morning Today, we stock again tested those levels, and from those levels, it's in a good pullback. So, I think uh, Bank of Bodo has the potential to test 168, 170 levels from current levels. So, one can buy Bank of Bodo at current levels. If we see uh, private sector bank, then Federal Bank is one stock uh, which is looking looking quite promising. At every decline, we are seeing fresh long positions getting built up in uh, Federal Bank. Uh, so, we are expecting target of 70 to 75 in the Federal Bank, and so this is almost 10 15 percent upside from current levels. So, one can go long in Federal Bank also. Right. Uh, do you track Aditya Birla Nuvo? It's not a very frequently traded counter. Uh, any view on that name? Well, if we see Aditya Birla Nuvo, then uh, this stock has seen a rally of, in last one month, it, have, it has seen a rally of almost 40-45%. Uh, stock doesn't have the long history in chart as uh, stock got demerged, much, but overall structure for chart, stock is looking quite good. And we're expecting that stock has a stock can test 1500-1520 levels in short term. But in last three days, stock has rallied a bit. So I would advise to buy on decline. If it comes in the range of 1380-1360, that is a good time where one can initiate fresh long positions. Uh, keeping a stop loss of 1295, on the higher side, one can expect target of 1500-1520. 20 levels. Uh, what would be the target you said? 1500? Yeah, 1500 to 1520. And uh, what should be the ideal stop loss? Well, the stop loss will be 1295 in this stock. But I would advise to buy in the range of 1360, 1340 levels. So that the risk reward is better? Yes. yes. Right. Uh, what's the view as far as, you know, some of these names like uh, REC, PFC are concerned? So REC is up 3% right now. PFC is up about 4%, but every day you're seeing buying into these names. Well, if we see RDC and PFC, both the stocks are quite good. Means that we have seen good correction in this stock. Well, if we see RDC and PFC, both these stocks have seen a good consolidation at lower levels. In we see specifically RDC, it consolidated in a range of 145 to 180 for last couple of months. And last month, we have seen a good breakout from this counter, and now we are seeing some fresh buying. So if we see, uh, take a long-term perspective, then RDC is looking quite positive. The stock has added significant amount of long position in the last couple of weeks. Uh, 230 to 32 is a major resistance level. So around those levels, uh, we will see some, we can see some profit working in RDC. Uh, so uh, first target will be 232. However, if stocks break that level, then I am expecting target of 270 to 280 in RDC. And similarly, we see PFC also stock consolidated a lot. And then after we have seen a good breakout of 175, 180 levels. Uh, so PFC can test 245, 250. So both the stocks are looking good. Uh, but already they have rallied a lot. So I would advise if there is any correction of 4 to 5%, then one should use those corrections to initiate long positions. 
Right. Uh, just a last word as far as DLF is concerned, refusing to break the 160, 165, is it at a strong sort of a supply area? Well, if we see DLF, then stock has seen a good rally from 125 levels. And after that, we are seeing some consolidation in the range of 150 and 164, 165 levels. Um, but if we see today's in last two trading move, that is Friday and today's stock is uh, showing quite a uh, quite lot of strength. And we are expecting the stock will break 165 levels. And if, if once it breaks 165 levels, it has a potential to test 180, 190 also. Uh, so its structure is positive. Uh, some profit booking is there at higher levels, but oh, it means if it breaks, manages to sustain above 165, I'm expecting target of 180 to 190. Aditya, thank you so much for joining us here this afternoon. Hope to see you Thanks again. Sir.